In today's video, we shall be discussing about branches of psychology. I want us to give an overview of the branches of psychology. Psychology is often defined as the study of the mind and behavior, a very broad topic that is often broken down into a number of different branches of psychology. Each branch is centered on a specific subfield within psychology. Some psychologists study the functions of the brain and their influence on behavior. Others explore how personality develops and changes over the course of life. Other psychologists are interested in exploring how psychology can, can improve life in the workplace. Psychology is such a broad field that conveying its, conveying its depth and breadth is very difficult. As a result, a number of unique and distinctive branches of psychology has emerged, each one dealing with specific subtopic within the study of the mind, the brain, and behavior. Understanding which subtopic exists can help you decide where your interest may lie. Here, there are about 18 types of psychology you might wish to pursue if you are interested in studying, earning your degree, or creating a career in this expansive field. And each of the branches or types of psychology look at questions and problems from a different perspective. While they all have their own focus, they still share common goal of students of, of studying and explaining human thought and behavior. So I want to now to look at different branches of psychology. This includes the following. One, abnormal psychology. This looks at psychopathology and abnormal behavior. It involves the study of the people's emotional thoughts and behavior patterns to identify, understand, and potentially resolve any issues that may, may be negatively affecting a person's life. Mental health professionals in this branch of psychology assess, diagnose, and treat a wide variety of psychological disorders, including anxiety and depression. Behavioral psychology. Behavioral psychology, also known as behaviorism, is a theory of learning based on the idea that all behaviors are acquired through conditioning. Behavioral strategies such as classical conditioning and operant conditions, conditioning are often utilized to teach or modify behaviors. For example, a teacher might use a reward system to teach students to behave during class. When students are good, they receive gold stars we can then be turned into for some sort of special privilege. The other branch is biopsychology. Biopsychology is a branch of psychology focused on how the brain, neurons, and other system influence thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. This field draws upon many different disciplines, including basic psychology, cognitive psychology, experimental psychology, biology, Physiology, physiology and neuroscience. People who work in this type of psychology often study how brain injuries and brain diseases impact human behavior. The other branch is what is known as clinical psychology, which is concerned with the assessment and treatment of mental illnesses, abnormal behavior, and psychiatric disorders. Clinicians often work in private practices, but many also work in community centers or at universities or, co or colleges. You can also find clinical psychology professionals in hospital settings and mental health clinics. They often work as part of a collaborative team that may include physicians, psychiatrists, and other mental health professionals, cognitive psychology. Cognitive psychology is the branch of psychology 
that focuses on internal mental states. This area has continued to grow since it emerged in the 60s and is centered on the science of how people think, learn, and remember. Professionals who work in this type of psychology typically study cognitive functions such as perception, motivation, emotion, language, learning, memory, attention, decision making, and problem solving. Comparative psychology. It is the branch of psychology concerned with the study of animal behavior. This is important because the study of how animals behave can lead to a deeper and broader understanding of human psychology. This psychology subtype has its roots in the work of researchers. Remember about Charles Darwin and John's romance. Counseling psychology. Counseling psychology is the largest branches of psychology. It's one of the largest branches. It is centered on treating clients in mental distress who may be experiencing a wide variety of psychological symptoms. Developmental psychology focuses on how people change and grow throughout life. This branch of psychology seeks to understand and explain how and why people change. Developmental psychology study physical growth, intellectual development, emotional changes, social growth, and perceptual changes that occur over the course of the lifespan. We also have educational psychology, which is the branch of psychology that is concerned with schools, teaching psychology, educational issues, and student concerns. Educational psychologists often study how students learn. They may also work directly with students, parents, teachers, and administrators to improve students' outcomes. Exper experimental psychology. What kind of psychology is this? It is actually the kind of psychology that utilizes scientific methods to research the brain and behavior. Many of these techniques are also used in other psychology areas to study everything from childhood development to social issues. This type of psychology is often viewed as a distinct subfield, but experimental techniques and methods are used extensively throughout every branch. Some of the methods used include experiments, correlation of studies, case studies, and naturalistic observations. Forensic psychology. It deals with the issues related to psychology and the law. Those who work in this branch apply psychological principles to legal issues. This may involve studying a criminal behavior and treatment or working directly in the court system. Forensic psychologists perform a wide variety of duties that include providing testimony in court cases assessing children with suspected child abuse cases, preparing children to give testimony, and evaluating the mental competence of criminal suspects. Health psychology. Also sometimes called medical psychology or behavioral medicine focuses on how biology, psychology, behavior, and social factors influence health and illnesses. This branch of psychology involves the promotion of health across a wide variety of domains, as well as the prevention and treatment of disease and illness. Industrial or organizational psychology. This applies, it applies psychological principles to workplace issues. This branch of psychology often referred to as IQ psychology. Six, to improve productivity and efficiency in the workplace while maximizing the well-being of employees. It includes areas such as human factors. And human factor psychology focuses on human error, product design, economics, human capability, and human computer interactions. Its goal is to improve how people interact with products and machines. Personality psychology. 
is the branch of psychology that focuses on the study of thought patterns, feelings, and behavior that makes each individual unique. Classic theories of personality include Freud's psychoanalytic theory of personality and Erickson's theory of psychology, social development, school psychology. It is the type of psychology that involves working in schools to help children deal with academic, emotional, and social issues. School psychologists also cooperate with teachers, students, and parents to help create a health learning environment. Social psychology. Social psychology seeks to understand and explain social behavior. It looks at diverse topics, including group behavior, social interactions and perception, leadership, and verbal communication, and social influences. On decision making. Uh, we also have sports psychology, which is the study of how psychology influences sports, athletic performance, exercise, and physical activity. Individuals may work with sports psychologists to improve their focus, develop mental toughness, increase motivation, or reduce sports related anxiety. So, in conclusion, I would say psychology is always evolving and new fields and projects continue to emerge. It is important to remember that no single branch of psychology is more important or better than any other. Each area contributes to understanding of the many different psychological factors that influence who we are, how we behave, and how we think. Thank you very much. So that marks the end of our a video presentation where we've been looking at an overview of the branches of psychology. If you like my video, you can subscribe, you can share to your friend. Thank you.